Yeah, if you saw this and thought I was going to do a video, you were immediately right in that, because, come on, like, the other day they dropped the, the Warlock Aegis on me, which is literally a, uh, a remake of the Satan Gundam, which I was a big fan of since I just didn't expect its appearance or the, you know, the name or anything, because I wasn't familiar with it in Gundam Breaker 3. And then the, the day after that, they go ahead and drop what you may immediately think of uh, just straight out the gate as looking like the high-res God Gundam. But no, they go ahead and drop it. The freaking real-grade God Gundam. Oh my god, yes, I need this. Seriously, if, if you've ever had that feeling that a company really wants your money, you know, they're just deliberately out to get you when you think, oh yeah, I'll, I'll stop collecting now. Yeah, I'm getting that feeling right now. Because no joke, I was I was getting to the point where I'm like, okay, I've got a lot of kits here that I want to build. But after that, after I, I reach like some of the more newer stuff, like the, the real grade new Gundam. Once I reach that, I'm pretty much back to where I started off with collecting, just updated. So I think I'll stop there. And then, yeah, sure enough, they go and drop this on me. Oh my god, just when I want to stop collecting, this comes out. So yeah, this is basically, from what it looks like and what people are saying on Japanese Twitter, this is a miniaturized uh, high-res God Gundam. It, it's so nice to have a look at all the mechanics and everything in it and the color separation. This is just a lot of details about the actual kit itself and its articulation, which is absolutely amazing when you look at all this promotional art. All the, uh, the different color separation. But we'll get into this now on the turnaround. Because again they actually do uh, this whole thing with this website. Which I absolutely love. Uh, not just showing off a load of promotional material. Saying like look it can recreate these poses. Which are, I, I absolutely love the, the pose stood on top of the corner post for the ring. I've been wanting to try and recreate that for ages. And now they give me a, a kit that can do it. But yeah, apart from just showing you all these promotional things, they then turn around and go, yeah, so anyway, here's a, a 3D recreation, so you can have a look at it yourself. And I absolutely love this, because now we can get into the, the nitty gritty details, and we can actually see what's different about this, and, uh, and go over it. So, we've got immediately, like with the other uh, real grades, we've got a lot of color separation. Uh, it looks like there may only be uh, one blue and red throughout, but we're definitely getting uh, white, light grey, uh, sort of this black colour. I think we're getting uh, another, like, either light grey or gum metal for certain other parts. But this articulation, it's got, like, an arch there, so you can recreate that, that standing intimidating pose that it does. Let's move up here a little bit and zoom out. So we've also got the whole thing with a backpack, which I actually really love because the call under itself, the way that it was designed, its wings couldn't go backwards. It was just stuck out in a, uh, a sideways position. And yeah, now they've actually made it so the call lander can have its wings move on these uh, different joints, allowing you to get more dynamic poses and move the, uh, the wings out of the way. Absolutely love this idea. It was one of the uh, the faults, like I was saying with the original, was the simple fact of you couldn't move those. Um, yeah, you know, color separation at the back of the head here. I'm assuming this is all going to be done by plastic. Um, I'm expecting stickers here to literally just be like the head cameras, if that. Um, might get some really nice decals to slap on here, but uh, I'm loving the way that this is color separated. Like even here, we got white going into this light gray. You see that quite a lot all over the the rest of the body because a lot of the God Gundam, uh, despite it being peppered in like blue and red here and there, you get a lot of this uh, this white frame that needs to be broken up. So clearly they've gone ahead and done that. The same with the uh, the beam saber uh, handles here. Or rather, the, the bits that keep the beam sabers onto the uh, the side skirts. They've made those grey instead of making them white like the old high grade. It'll be really fun to do a comparison between the high grade and this. And then maybe the, uh, the uh, high res one. Because I've got all of them. I just need to... Well, I will have all of them. I just need to build the, uh, the high res and then the real grade to compare. 
this is making me think maybe I shouldn't do anything special to my high res, like paint it or anything, and just snap build it, uh, and then actually do what I want to do on the uh, the real grade, like and normally. Uh, for people that have been around on the channel long enough, you'll know I always do the yellow and gold because I just think it looks better. Um, I'm thinking of that right now because it'll probably be real nice and won't take away from the the kind of like glossy finish that the uh, the high res has. And then we've got uh, the holding pose for the the kick here. And by that, what I mean is it's holding this pretty nicely and it's not falling over. Although I'm not sure whether that's because of how weight is distributed or just because of promotional material, because you can see it's definitely pivoted this way towards the, the left of the screen. So, uh, yeah, you'd imagine it's going to tip over, but if they can show it actually holding this exact position and staying still, that's got some pretty good weight distribution to it. Really loving this right now. Absolutely fantastic to see all these details and all these, like, different panel uh, separation that we we've got going on here i'm just my mind is blown by this right now i'm not so sure about panel lines uh we got some in the legs that don't look like they're very deep channels we got a couple maybe at the back the maybe a couple going along the uh the wings here i wish we'd get like a shot of it just completely done up by a professional that'd be really good to see what the uh, the difference is they explain at the bottom here that it's all cg yeah, oh, this is this is too good to be true. And then if we, we go back up here, we get to see in the promotional material, they show off things like the wings having the, the different articulation. They show off a good shot of the back so you can see those joints that will move uh, and give you a much wider range of motion than before. We get these effect parts uh, for the uh, the ring of energy that goes around the, the God Gundam's back. That is fantastic. That looks like it pegs into uh, maybe the, the thrusters or pegs into the uh, the top here. Not too sure about that. Not too sure about that at all. They've definitely taken inspiration from the high-res though because of the way that they've done all the, uh, the detailing or the designing of the certain parts and then the articulation on them. Like for instance, the, uh, the gauntlet here, they've split that up more, more or less exactly the same. It's like having the articulated fingers, what looks like an articulated thumb to get out of the way. Uh, we've got the articulated claws. Uh, the what looks like a dual god hand, but in uh, orange for the effects. So it looks like we're going to have a lot of swappable parts and effects and things. We get just showing the articulation here. That that rocker on the ankles that is absolutely ridiculous. Then we've got the fact that it can kick straight up for a high kick. Shows it in the art in the background as well versus the Master Gundam. Then we've got the, the new range of articulation with the shoulder joint here, which uh, which will allow it to do some really damn good poses. We're just going back up now and going over stuff we've already gone over before. I love the way they're, they're making it so uh, with the leg here it can actually uh, crouch properly. And not sort of get in the way by the looks of it anyway. When you look at the, the highlighted section of articulation. It's like yeah we're going to make it so that. Um, actually. Looking at this image. Like in the center. The uh, the main large image here. To the left of the screen. Like center left. And then the smaller one that's next to me here. It makes it look as though parts of the. Uh, parts of the kit can press into each other. To make it streamlined. Oh, that's going to be really cool if I if I can see stuff like that happening. Because does this really good kneeling pose? It's obviously confirmed here that we're going to be getting uh, beam saber parts by the uh, or beam saber effect parts by the look of the uh, the promotional image. Very much similar to the uh, original high grade, just with a load of uh, added things to make this really good. I love this this really stylized, updated take on stuff. It's it's day one purchase for me. It's got to be. Like I know I said I was getting out of the game and that I wasn't gonna get well many more of these things, but goddamn, this makes me so excited just to see uh, how well it goes together and what it's like after building. Primarily because I've I've had most of the early real grades and they've been pretty cool. You know, people talk smack about early real grades, but I actually still like stuff like my original uh, RX-78 real grade and the uh, the Freedom 
those were really good. Those got me into real grades and, and got me really hyped about the future of them. And the fact that they were more just like mini master grades. But yeah, this this has got me real hyped. Um, like I said, I've just recently got the new. I can't wait to uh, drop on the crossbone and see about that. Because I've been wanting to get that when it's back in stock on uh, HLJ. I, uh, I can't wait for this. It's going to be so fun. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. I, I really want to gush about this some more, but it's going to be just me talking about the same talking points over and over and over again. I'm just so fascinated by this right now. Anyway, I'll see you in the comments section, and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, bye!